chapter begins in the dark and tragic history of the Congo with the return to Leopoldville of deposed Premier Lumumba following his capture by crack commandos of strongman Colonel Mobutu. Taken to Mobutu. On January 17, 1961, Lumumba was dragged into the jungle, beaten and then murdered by troops loyal to Mobutu, and the Soviets were no longer welcome there. Lumumba was removed to an army prison. He had everything for himself, he controlled everything himself. And thus he became, even, uh, at the time, even the most richest guy on earth. Over his lifetime, he was reckoned to have taken four billion. Lots of quotes unquote palaces, which included a whole compound in Gabadolite. It looked like Disney, but it cost a great deal of money. Mobutu had a small airport, but not so small that Concorde couldn't regularly land and take off there because Concorde was hired for shopping trips to Paris. He became like an animal. He became like a lion. Je m'appelle Mobutu. People were very scared about Mobutu. If you touch it's Mobutu's politics or Mobutu's interests, you are finished man, you are gone. It is one of the most unstable, poorest and most anarchic countries in Africa. I've now spent 10 years in Africa and every African I've ever met believes that if something happens in his country that is negative and damaging, the CIA was behind it. But they have good reason to think that. So the paranoia that is still there, uh, which makes every African you meet think that the CIA is probably behind that, is completely justified. <laughs>